Hello everyone and welcome to an Impossible Creatures tutorial. It is your host, Bchamp, and I will be going over how to use uh, the Army Builder in a few tutorials here and some different strategies that I employ. Uh, and this is mainly geared towards beginners that do have some experience with the game and have played around in here before. I'm on Tellurian 2.4.2. It's available in the Steam Workshop and adds a bunch of really awesome creatures and balance changes and is the standard for online play, so I highly recommend it. So going into the uh, unit or creature selection screen here, I always start by um, looking at size. Size is a huge factor, and that's what we're going to be going over in this video. So let's take a unit. Um, let's say the, uh, doo -doo -doo, let's say a bull, uh, bull of spider. So bull of spider is a size one unit. Notice size one, we have three melee damage, five ranged, uh, 38 health. And uh, let's say I combine this bull of spider with a spitting spider. Now, why would you do that? I don't know. And let's make it 100% bull of spider. So there are no spitting spider parts. We are all bull of spider here. And so you notice that we have the exact same stats. We are still size one, range five damage, melee three damage, 38 health, 21 defense, 22 speed, exactly the same unit. Um, because something to note is that when you combine two units, the finished unit, no matter if you even use any parts from this other unit, is going to be the size, is going to have a size that is the largest of the two units. And so what I mean by that is, uh, let's say on my left here, I'm going to pick a um, giant anteater. This is a size four unit. And on the right here, I have my spitting spider, which is a size one unit. But my final combined unit is a size four unit in the end. So whichever one is larger, that's the size of your, of your finished unit. And so um, all of the stats of your animals are going to scale with size. So let's go back to that bull of spider. And just remember the stats here, three, five, or I guess let's back to three melee, five ranged, uh, 38 health, 22 speed. But now let's change it with something big, like a blue whale, size 12. That's the largest in the game. Wow, now notice the huge difference. 15 melee damage, 28 ranged, 1,232 health, all increased with size. And the one thing that decreased with size was actually speed. So you have lower speed the bigger you get, but you have much higher damage, range damage, and um, health, and also you'll notice that the cost is way higher and the uh, level is also higher. And those are indirectly related to size, but um, before we were at a level two, now we're at a level five. So when you're doing your co combinations, it's really important to look for size. Um, I'll take you through one more example here. Let's try to find a ranged unit that we really like. Um, how about the electric eel? So I hope you guys like the electric eel. That's what we're going to be using today. And my goal right now, I'm, I want to make a level three uh, ranged unit with the electric eel. And I want it to be amphibious. So I want it to be able to swim in water, but also be on land. And I also want it to have the highest damage possible. I want to maximize my range damage uh, to be the highest possible. At level three again so we're gonna start the the electric eel is size two and uh, so size two and it's a level two unit I want to go to level three so perhaps I'm gonna bump up to a size three unit let's look at this camel and so this would give me ten lightning attack instead of seven. Oh, but look I'm still at level two so oh, I want to make it amphibious of course so yep it's amphibious meets all the criteria except it's level two and not level three I'm going to try to go up. So I was at size three. Now I'm going to choose a size four unit. Let's just pick anyone like the musk ox here. And oh, let's look at this. Ooh, we're at level three. Good. Level three, 13 damage. That's good. It's amphibious. So this all matches my criteria here. So, uh, but I want to try to see what is the best I can get. So at size four, we're getting 13 damage. Uh, let's see what happens at size five. So size five, I'm sorting by size. And I'm going to, let's say, the bull. Bull's a good size 5 unit. 
And oops, sorry, I was getting a phone call there. Um, oh, here, let's see, amphibious bull. That is a this is a level four unit. So this is too. We went too far. Size five seems too big. So you think after this at this point, you think, okay, size five. Yes, it does fifteen damage. When we want to maximize our, our range damage, but we're at level four. Our stats are just too high at size five. Like you know, our health stats uh, and our damage stats to to be a level three unit. But that is not always the case. So. You want to also, once you find your breaking point, so your, the size that gets up to the next level, then you want to consider uh, looking at other units that are size five that could possibly satisfy your criteria still. And so from experience, I know the horse is on the lower end of size five units in terms of um, how strong it is. And so you can, you can look at that, get a rough estimate based on the coal cost. If you look at the coal cost, you notice of all the size five units, uh, horses cost the least, and so uh, that gives you a rough estimate that it's going to be a little bit, a little bit weaker. And oh, looky here, this is great. This uh, meets all my criteria: level three amphibious, and I get a fifteen range damage that maximizes the range damage at level three for my electric eel. So uh, that that meets you know the amphibious criteria. So that's awesome. I'm really really happy with this. And so I can, you know, take a picture of it, and then name this doodad and save. Uh, and so that is how I go about building my army. The first thing I do is, again, think about what I want. Do I want a ranged unit? Do I want a flying unit? Or maybe I want a certain ability. Like, let's say I want um, to have charge attack where's charge attack i want charge attack somewhere in, in my army so i want my ram or something like that size three and i'm paying attention to all of these things and maybe i want a level five ram unit uh, i'm not going to combine it with something small i have to combine it with something that is uh larger so like you know like your blue whale in order to get my my level five unit because if i were to combine it with something small again like you know my my naked mole rat size one then yeah, I'm not really doing much for myself uh, to get to level five. I'm still at level three down here. So uh, hopefully this gets you a better idea of how to use size as a, as a factor when you're in the army builder. And uh, I hope it makes things a little bit faster for you and you can get better at strategizing in the army builder. Stay tuned for more videos about army builder, army creation strategies and things like that. Uh, and I hope you really enjoyed this. Thank you again for watching.